Hello everyone, today I'll be demonstrating to all of you how to make a to-do list using TinyDB and also the notifier. So this will be the main feature for our final application and the first thing you need to do is to add a new task here. We name the task math homework or anything you want and press done once you're done. You want to add another thing then you do the same process and if you type in something and you don't want to put it into the list then you can press cancel and it will not be added into your list if you want to delete then you can press the item and press yes but if you don't want to delete the task but you accidentally press it then you can press no without further ado let's jump straight into the action so the first thing you'll need to do is, of course, to open your App Inventor application and to start off, I prefer to use um, an arrangement first because I will use some kind of a two page, but instead of using two screens, I will only use two arrangements. So I'll put one vertical arrangement for the home menu and the other vertical arrangement for the new, pa new task menu. So I will put screen one into a center, the center, and the width of this into 95%. Just to make it nice. For the height, just fill pattern. And to not confuse all of you, let's just name this one home page and the second one new task page. For me personally, this makes everything easier because I can see directly what I should do from uh, these two pages. So first, of course, you will put the um, label of the application, the title. I will use a code to do list. You can use whatever you want in this thing and for this one I think I'm going to use blue color. And then this is optional but you can also uh, put decorations like this using a button and the shape oval the width you fill uh, you fill to pattern and the height to 1% and then you set enable to false this is some kind of a line that separates everything so it makes clear uh, which one is the title and which one is the inside Another tip I can give is to put a space so that the things would not, the components will not be too packed together. So this one here will be the button for the add new task. The font I will put into 18. This is according to your own personal preferences. And then we rename it so that we'll not forget about this new task button. Okay. And finally, we put another space here. And list view. This list view is for the list in which you will, um, your, your, list of data will show here text size we just make it similar and that will be it for the design of the home page task list for the new page we will also add a title for this for example new task
And then for this one, I prefer to use the horizontal arrangement and make it uh, not this one. And then use a label and a text box. The text box here is for the user to input later on. For, and for the last thing that you need to add is another horizontal arrangement and similarly you will put it into fill pattern and then center align, uh, alignment and you put two buttons and another space here and here. This button is for the cancel button. And this one is for the button to make it even more tidy and neat I will put this into 40% and this one as well so that it would be equal So that is it for the design and this one I'll just rename it to new task title, this one into name of task. And don't forget to add the tiny DB. You can find the tiny DB here. And so basically, tiny DB is a database in which you can input data and then the data will not be gone even if you close the application. So the time you open up the application again, uh, the, um, the system will call back all of the data that you have put into the tiny DB database. And another thing, this is additionals, but if you want to edit, you may. So let's get into the blocks. First and foremost, of course, we should pull out when you initialize screen. When screen one initialize, you want so that this only the home page shows up and not the new task page, right? So I will make into it an, into a procedure. A procedure is um, something that a list of orders that you can call whenever you want because if you use it frequently then you wouldn't want to repeat it again and again so I'll just put home page vis visible to true and one duplicate and task page into false pages and then here when screen one initialize we call pages and it will run this 
two uh, two lines of instructions and then when we press a new task button then it will call the opposite of this so we will just change the fault true and false here and then uh, we will just cover all of the visibility thing first and so when we are in the new task page and then we want to cancel it means we will go back into the home page so we will call this procedure again and also when we are done with something we will also call this procedure so here we go and then we will get into how we should input the data into the database. So we should input the data, the data into the database when we press the done button. So we want to click into tinyDB1 and store value, this one, because we want to store a value to the database. So usually if you have more than uh, one data to store, I usually use the tag here, but tag, but tag line here instead of the value to store. So I will just tag the user, what the user have inputted in the text box. So here we'll find test name. So this is what the, the user have inputted. Value to store, we just make it the same as the tag. So when we return to when we return to the new the home page, then we will want to call the data, all of the data that is stored inside as a database. So we are going to set the task list in the elements in the task list because previously no data has been put into the tiny DB. So when we add, we will call the text that we have put because the text is the task name itself so also when green one initialize we will also want to call this because from the beginning if we have opened it then we would want to get all of the text that we have put in and i think that will be it for how to put the database the data into the database and another thing that i would like to give is for this hide keyboard so when you cancel and return to the home page the keyboard in your phone will automatically go down similar with done and before we continue let's just try it out first so as you can see here we have pulled out our android simulator here and at the beginning, nothing will be on our list because we haven't put anything into the database, of course. So, try it out. Um, then, yes, it works. So, yeah. Try another one. Yes, it works. Another additional thing that if you want to add so that your project would be neater and the user will be more pleased with uh, the cleanliness of your application you can also pull out something like this so the text the um, text box will always be empty whenever uh, the user actually enters the new task page so we put the task name text box into um, nothing and now the next step that you want to add if you want to add is the part where you can um, delete the task when you're done and we're going to use the mo um, we're going to use the notifier here so that the user if they accidentally press and suddenly it's gone it would not be funny so I would use a confirmation button to ensure that the user actually really wants to delete the information so we press into the task list button and find after picking what it means by after picking is 
when we press the items in the list, we will call the notifier here. And usually I use this one, this huge chunk of component. And the message that I would like to put in is, are you sure you want to delete this task? And then the title, I would want something like confirm deletion. And then option one will be yes, and the other option will be no. Cancelable to false. And then uh, in the notifier part here, we can find notifier after choosing. So here, because we have choice one and choice two, so the choice is depending on what the user picked in this phase. So I will pull up the if but if component if the choice of the user is equal to yes then we will call tinydb and clear the tag when we clear the tag it's it means that you want to clear the data that is related to that tag and the tag itself. So here we choose the selection. So the selection is what we what the user picked in the first place. And after we delete the user selection, we would call again all of the data from TinyDB, the rest of the data from TinyDB, right? So we set the task list back into the tiny db the text so let's try it out again and see if it works as you can see here our data from the previous uh, trial is still present so it, yes yeah when we pick no then it still stays there so that is basically it for the video and thank you for watching see you in the next video